Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today we're gonna have a very, very, very short video, but I just want to make it for the few people that will need it. Today in my Discord server we got asked this, show how to import your own model from Roblox into Blender, then edit them and export them back into Roblox. So. For today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, and I'm just going to use a model from the toolbox for today. So if we wanted, let's say, let me go ahead and type in mesh. This works with parts too, to be fair, but uh, I just feel like a mesh, you know, would be kind of nice. So let's grab this car for example, okay? Now, I probably wouldn't recommend grabbing something that's textured, but we're going to do it. It is what it is. So we have this mesh part. We're going to go right over here into our workspace, right click on it, and then export selection. Now a folder is going to pop up. Mine's on my other screen. You're just going to click wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save this on my desktop and name it car. Now you want to go right into Blender, file, import, and then OBJ. Navigate it to wherever you have it saved. Mine's right here. Make sure you click the OBJ and geometry. I always forget which one of these you want to click, but I'm going to split by group and import OBJ. So now we have this. Here's the car. We're going to click on it and go into edit mode. And uh, as you can see, this uh, topology, I believe is the right word, is kind of messy. So it would be pretty hard to work on. There is things you can do to change the topology of stuff. Uh, it's not always the best thing to do, but I am going to try it with this car. But for example, say you wanted the car to have horns. You know, we could grab these faces here. Now it is a very weird topology and it doesn't match on both sides, but we could grab something like this, extrude those up, and then, you know, let's just merge them at center. You know, now we have like a weird thing on the car. So you can edit the car however you want. Let's add a, a little spoiler, I suppose. That'll probably look all right. So I'm gonna grab all of these back faces, just like this, extrude those up, bring it back a little bit. And I could probably use the knife tool to cut through here, but it's not that deep. I'm just trying to show you guys that you can edit uh, and then take it back. Let me go ahead and go into my modifiers and I'm gonna click remesh. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> we have, uh, I'm just gonna apply this real quick. Now we have a different topology and it's a lot cleaner, but there is some issues with it. I am going to control Z because it's, it's not that good, but you can change all of this stuff. The more detailed you want it, the higher this, uh, arc tree depth. So, oh gosh, I, oh gosh. Okay. Hold on. Let's, let's bring it to like, like here. Okay. Now <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> you can change the scale and everything as well. I am going to crash my blender if I keep messing around with it. But you can keep changing stuff till you're happy with it. And then let's just say we're happy with this. I'll apply it. Um, the topology is kind of fixed up, but it did cause a bunch of breaking. And let's say we want a cool little thing on the hood. So like one of those little, uh, it'll probably have to be a little thicker than that. So we'll go something like this. Yeah, and we'll go like one more over there. And then E to extrude, S to scale. So cool. We have a thing like that now, okay? We can also shade smooth again, because why not? And then all we have to do is file, export, and you can export it as an OBJ or an FBX. I personally always use FBX, but uh, I know a lot of people that just use OBJ. So let's go ahead and do that. Your file is going to pop up where you want to save it to. Just make it a name, car fix. Let's just call it that. And make sure you tick selected objects right here and make sure you're selecting the car. Export that, go back into Roblox right here. And then you want to go to Asset Manager, click this little bulk bulk upload video or bulk upload um, icon here. Your folder will pop open and then just navigate to where you have your file saved. Mine is called Car Fix. Here it is. Uh, in fact, this probably isn't going to work because I put a lot of faces on that. So it might be too much for Roblox. Yeah, more than 10,000 triangles. So if that happens, this is why I wouldn't recommend using the retopology thing. But if that happens, we just have to go here. Uh, this car is going to look so messed up. This is uh, a very off, off tops, okay? I'm going to put this at like 0.1. There we go. And I'm going to apply it. You know, that actually fixed a lot of the issues with the car, to be fair. But now we can import it. So same process. File, export. I'm going to use FBX. I'm going to save it under the same thing I saved it as before. So I don't over uh, or don't have more files than I need. Go back into studio. Click the bulk import button. Upload car fix. Apply all. Here we go. 
Roblox is gonna check this and it'll either confirm or deny it. Right here, it denied it, of course, when I'm trying to make a video. So I'm just gonna retry. Sometimes you just gotta retry it, guys. Apply all. There we go. So it worked that try. It just sometimes it doesn't work, but it worked that try. So now we have the car and uh, we've added a spoiler, as you can see. And we have also added this. Now, if I take this texture, this is probably going to be a bit messed up because I've changed the car like pretty drastically. If we take the texture and we put it on here, um, it actually doesn't even it doesn't even load. Yeah, so the texture is uh, quite scuffed, as you can see. So I wouldn't recommend doing it with textures, but that's how you do it, guys. You can take anything, whether it's a free model, an old asset you made and you just didn't save the Blender file. Anything you want, guys. Take it into Blender. You can even do this with parts. Say you made a huge building and you wanted that all to be one mesh. You could take it into Blender, join it, texture it, and then export it and it'll all be one part then. So hopefully this video did help you guys. Whoever might have been struggling with this. If it did, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.